Hello and what is up guys, Tomcat here and welcome to Pure Rock Crawling. Now, I was given access to this game by its developer. This is a very much an indie game and I was very intrigued by it because nobody really makes directly, you know, directly rock crawling related games. We've seen a couple over the years. I'm not saying nobody's ever made one, but we've seen a couple over the years and it's been a long time since anybody's taken a crack at making a realistic uh, or at least realism focused rock crawling game. So without any further ado, Let's go ahead and click start and we'll get into it now I've messed around with the game a little bit already. We've got this particular truck here, which is very much like a Toyota Truggy We've also got this which is very uh, Suzuki Samurai ish. Um, we've got a few more vehicles. This is level 5 required This is level 7 required and basically we are just a little bit above a level 3 right now So I'm gonna run the Toyota so you guys can see what the Toyota is like. Um, we've also got this particular map, we've also got this desert map that we've unlocked, but we haven't played yet. So, how this game works is that you have different stages within a given map. And so you have to complete the different stages as you progress through the map. And I would prefer it that way, actually. I'm glad that they did it that way, rather than, you know, giving you just like a massively long course. Um, I don't know what this was. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. But anyways, the only thing is like, I'm, I'm sure that a lot of people are going to want, you know, free roam and stuff like that. And um, that's that that's something that could be, you know, a suggestion or an idea. But this game also releases the 11th of April on Steam if you guys want to check it out. Um, I Like I said, I've been given early access to it. But again, 11th of April, if you guys want to check this game out uh, on Steam, that's when it will be available. So this map is level 5 required. This map is level 7 required. This map is level 9 required. This is level 12, and they, they keep going. That is the last one. So they keep going up and up and up and up and up um, as you increase in level. But we're going to do the very first map so you guys can see what it's like. And uh, so you guys can see what it's like to start from literally the very beginning. So this game is, is um, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of an interesting, interesting atmosphere. I think atmosphere is the right way to say it. So you cross these first two cones, and that starts the timer. Now, you just have to make sure not to tag a cone, because that will hurt your overall score um, at the end of the course. Now, the objective here is to make it through the course as quickly as possible, obviously. However, they do give you so much time to make it through that you really don't have to worry about racing through it, and you can take your time. So there's no real, no real need to worry about uh, ultimate speed here. Now, I'm being very careful not to hit any cones. My very first time going through here, I actually hit a lot of cones. I'm not going to lie. I hit I hit quite a few. I wasn't, uh, I was not in the right mindset for what I was doing. I was just kind of worried about the countdown timer, and I was concerned that there was, I was concerned that I was not going to have enough time to, wow, I keep hitting that rock. I was concerned that I wasn't going to have enough time to make it, so I just kind of floored it, and I mean, I took out a lot of cones, but I made it, but then I realized how much extra time I had once I actually got to the objective, and I was like, oh, I have that much extra time? Oh, okay, so I can, you know, I can take a little bit more time. You can get your tire up on that rock. It'll set you up. Uh-oh. It'll, well, actually, it'll set you up the wrong way. But, oh, we can make it through, though. I guarantee you, though, that on your first time through, like, when you play this game for the first time... You're going to be hitting cones, and I'm sure you're saying to yourself right now, like, Oh, I'd never hit cones. It's like, it, it looks stupid easy. It's, it's simple, but it's not easy easy. That's the thing, is it's like, it's not, it, like, it's simple, but it's not, like, stupid easy. So, you do have to get used to it. You do have to kind of, oh, God. Oh, come on. You do have to get used to it, and you do have to kind of figure out what strategy you're going to use. But, I think at the end of the day... At the end of the day, it's one of those things where you just have to, like, uh, let yourself take your time. And you will have to reverse back and kind of realign your truck sometimes. But there's there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, like, something that you, you'll have to do occasionally. Now, I do love how smoothly everything runs. I do like the look of the game. And, you know, you could say, you know, yeah, they aren't the, the most brilliant graphics in the world. But at the end of the day, they don't need to be. This is more of a showcase of, of, of physics. And it's more of an exercise in, you know, like, legitimately simulating rock crawling. Oh, see, that's what happens when you hit a cone, is they basically mark it. Except for those finishing line cones, they don't really count too, too much. So, overall score, 95. We hit one cone past all gates. So, next stage. Now, this, these, these stages basically get a little bit more and a little bit more tricky the further on you go. 
And when I say tricky, I mean basically the attack and the attack angles for the gates. Ah, see, if you even remotely touch it, it it's it's done. Now, I will say, if you're if you know you're gonna hit a cone, just plow the crap out of it because whether or not you tap it or run it over with a tank doesn't matter. It still counts as a hit. So if you just barely tap the cone, it's exactly the same as if you barreled into it out of nowhere. You still hit it. So say what you will about that, you know, about that gameplay dynamic choice. But, oh, see, that's the big issue with these is that your cab can fall on. Basically, if you if you drop too far in, you can actually hit the cone with the cab. So there's there's a lot to think about. It's a lot deeper than it might seem on the surface, and there's a lot more there's a lot more stuff to to, to really you know occupy your brain uh, while you're doing this. You really do have to think, and it's it's definitely not a game you can play on autopilot. Oh my God! See, bounced off the rock in front. I was good until I actually bounced off the rock in front that I thought I was just going to climb up on top of, and it just it bounced off that rock and then bounced back and knocked the cone out of the like out of its spot. So. Definitely a ah, man. You really it can be frustrating actually sometimes if you're not you know really 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 focusing in on what you should be doing. Now let's see. Oh my God, what was it? How did that even happen? That that didn't seem like it should have happened to me. That that to me that seemed like it was a little a little iffy. But the cones are extremely sensitive, like extremely extremely sensitive. This one we're not gonna have a brilliant score on, but. We'll still make it through. Ooh. Oh, see? Again, you got to be careful of when that rear end is going to slide out if you bounce off another rock because that can push the truck back and actually cause you to hit the cone. It, it, it's, it's, it's really, really tricky. So that was a two-star cone strip, five out of 20. Not quite as good. We're about to rank up again, though, so that's good. So we're going to set off again here in the, this particular course. Climbing up the first rock, coming up to the first gate, and ooh, squeezing through, but we managed to get it just fine. This is tough right here. This is very tough, and I did not attack it from the proper angle. I'm going to back up and do it again. Yeah, see, the problem is... Oh, there we go. There we go. Damn, it's like it's just sitting and... Hmm... That's where we need to be set up from. That's where we need to be set up from. Let's get up, 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 uh oh. <laughs> I was like, nope. Come on, get your tire on. There we go. Slowly. Oh, man. I'm really worried. My Ah, see, my mirror hit the cone. Damn, like the slightest touch. Even if you're, if, even if you are being really careful. Sometimes that slightest touch of even, like, your mirror can throw it off. And that's where I find this game to be really realistic. I, I, that's where I think they've they've really nailed the realism aspect of it in that regard, that they've made it difficult. They, like, if you want to do it perfectly, it's, 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 legitimately, it's legitimately difficult to do. Legitimately difficult to do. So coming up on gate number five, trying to set myself up a little bit further to the right. Actually, I'm ugh, further to the left than I wanted to be. But I'm just trying to scoot the truck over to the right a little bit. Oh, man. No limited slip diff. Well, not even limited slip diff. Like, no lockers. No lockers kind of sucks. Open diffs. Come on. Grab some grip. There you go. Oh, yep. Hit the very edge of the cone. Wow, with the front and back tire. Where are we going from? Oh, right. All right. Okay, yeah, the first time I went through here, because I've been through this course before, the first time I went through here was, like, was really nerve-wracking because I didn't know where I was going, and I missed that gate, like, uh, I missed that gate and started driving around randomly, and I was like, why did I, where was number six? And then I realized where number six was, and I had passed it. Come on, just drop down a little bit. God, there's no real, there's no good way to do this one. Oh, yes, there is. And it's... Oh, and it's that! If I can get more to the right, please, 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 more to the right. And then just go forward, 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 forward. Ah, it went over the... Hmm, the truck slipped. Come on. Straight on. 
So not bad. Those, that last one didn't really count. So three out of 20. That wasn't terrible. Oh, no! I reset to the menu. I did not mean to do that. I That's why I freaked out. Damn, I did not mean to do that. Well, um, we're... <laughs> We're going to go ahead and actually, you know what, since we have the opportunity to do this right now, we're going to do the second stage in this other vehicle, which is, or the second map, I should say, um, in this basically Suzuki Samurai. So I think it looks to be a little bit shorter than that Toyota looking truck. Oh God, where's my next gate? Oh, there it is. Wow, there's no, see, there's no directional arrow, so you really do end up having to pay attention and look around, be aware of your surroundings, which is important. I think it, it definitely brings a, an aspect of, ac of actual, actual awareness and exploration to this game, which is good because it doesn't just hold your hand and tell you where to go. Like, you are responsible for actually getting across that finish line. This thing has so much flex. Flex is out like mad. And the, the interesting thing is these vehicles aren't like crazy built or anything. They're, they're, they're pretty... They're pretty close to stock just with suspension upgrades. Where are we going? Oh, oh, we're over there. All the way over there. Wow. There's a lot more, like, open space on this particular map. A lot more open space. Oh, that cone is kind of hanging off to its own, like, it, hanging off on its own already. It's, like, pointing to one side. Ah, I just barely touched it. Okay, six is up there. So we're going to hang to the right, and then probably... Whoa, wow, this thing just kind of drifted out. That was weird. Hang over here to the right, and then cut back left. Carefully climb between these two. That should be easy. Yeah, that's fine. Gate number seven. This one doesn't look too bad. Oh, almost. Almost took out a code. I was within inches of taking one out. Like, I was very, very close to taking that cone out. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, there she is. Not bad. God, I want to say... I want to say the best way to attack this will be from the... Oh, God. From the right and then cutting back in like that. One more and then the line. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, there's the finish. And across the line. That's not bad. I think we did a really good job. One cone trip, so that's like... That's equal to three stars, and we're just setting off for the next one. This one's got some gates in close succession, so we'll try and get a little bit, get up this hill quickly. Oh, God. No lockers. Oh. Yeah, no locker issues are, are quite prevalent with these rigs. I'll make this turn real quick. God, you really do have to think, and it's 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 very involved. Like compared to, I mean, say for example, if you took spin tires, right, and gave it this level of this level of like like the rock grip, for example, the rock grip in this game is really really on point. I mean, you were never technically supposed to drive on rocks in 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 like spin tires or spin tires moderner. So all of the actual like rock crawling maps. They're, they're, they kind of end up feeling weird, and some of them end up, like, feeling glitchy. This, you feel like you're supposed to be driving on the rocks. Like, the rocks feel like they were made to be driven on, they were designed to be driven on, and, you know, they were coded to be driven on, and, and they feel like it, because everything just feels right. Oh, God, this descent looks intimidating. Ooh, I have not rolled once yet in this game, and I don't plan on doing it now. I really don't plan on doing it now. There we go. Where's number seven? There it is. Oh, it's straight on. This is gonna be a... Oh, God, ow. This is gonna be a tricky one. Weaving in and out through here. Give it a little bit of a climb. Oh, not bad. All right, where's number eight? There it is. Just keep your course. Keep your course. Keep your... Whoa, keep your course. No big deal. No big deal. This one should be easy. Just goes through it straight ahead. And then number nine is all the way out there, dude. Like, it is way off. Way off in the distance. Oh, come on. Can we climb this? Oh, tell me we can climb this rock. Oh. That kind of sucks. 
I was really hoping we could climb that rock. Like, I was genuinely hoping we could climb it. Come on, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. A little bit. Oh, jeez. I think, yeah. I was, I was, th this is definitely the best way to do it. Definitely the best way to do it. Not bad. Where's the fit? Wow. Okay, so gate 10 is way over here in the distance. This is very Moab-like. You go through that gate. Okay, you go through it from this side. Be easy with this one. I could see this one quickly. Oh, yep. Launched myself too far to the side. Well, I mean, at least it was one cone and not two. And there's the finish. So, this one was definitely a little on the trickier side. Um, I, I, I had a good time with it, though. Had a really good time with it. So, we've leveled up again. One cone. We One cone. We almost had it perfect. Next stage.